Have you ever felt like your PC has just randomly slowed down? And if you've used your PC for long enough, most people know what it feels like when their PC slows down. And sometimes your PC is just slow. But today I'm gonna to show you guys how to quickly and easily identify a program that is slowing down your PC. So today we have Benchy loaded up here with a Ryzen 7 1700 and I used this processor for a very long time. And I was trying to do a little revisit video for it and noticed that it was running slower than it should be. I wasn't getting the Cinebench scores that I, I needed to to really feel like I was benchmarking this properly. I noticed a program that was running in the background that was slowing me down and I thought, I should make a video for you guys to let you guys know how to fix this. So first things first, all of the links to the software that I use are in the video description below. So while you're down there, get subscribed and uh, like the video. So I used Hardware Info 64 to identify that the processor is running and boosting as it should be. So once I get this opened up, you can see that all of the cores are running at 3.2 gigahertz, which is very much okay for this processor. And then opening up a program like Cinebench R15 should make it boost properly. So as you can see, our core one and our core five are boosting properly to 3.7 and a half gigahertz. The extra 50 megahertz is because this is a non XQ. It has an XFR range of just 50 megahertz. XFR is extended frequency range. So first gen Ryzen had a very basic kind of PBO thing that you couldn't adjust. On a face value, this, this processor is running okay. So with Task Manager open, I can see I have 10% CPU utilization right now. And if I click on that tab, it shows that this Waves Max Audio Service application is drawing 7% CPU utilization, which is massive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run Cinebench just to show you guys what happens when you have a program running in the background drawing up that kind of CPU utilization. I'm using Cinebench R15 for this because I'm not comparing it to any other processor, I'm only comparing it to itself. And this was the benchmarking software that was out at the time of release for this processor. So as you can see on the task manager tab, Cinebench is only using 91, 92% of the CPU, which is not enough. And we only scored a 1280, when I know for a fact that this processor should be scoring higher. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this task and then run Cinebench again. This time around, Cinebench is pulling 98% CPU utilization, which is far better. <laughs> again, this is gonna scale to any multi-threaded workload. So anything that's gonna pull 100% or at least 80% or more of your CPU utilization, you're gonna notice it slowing down. This time, Cinebench scored a 1376, which is over 100 points more, and it probably scales perfectly to the amount of percentage CPU utilization that that program was using. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get rid of that program. Well, first off, don't just delete it. We wanna make sure that it's not important to your system's operation. So just Google it. So if I search for Wave Max Audio Service, it shows up as some kind of Dell software. So it probably installed itself when I plugged this drive into my Dell XPS. And obviously it's not required for any operation of uh, anything I have here. If it's important to my system's operation in some other way, I can just go up to startup apps. So just search startup apps in your taskbar. And then it'll pull up this right here. And then we'll just go and uh, uncheck it on startup apps. So if it is important and you do need to use it later, just go ahead and uncheck it on the startup apps. And then when you need to use it later, you can go ahead and fire it up and just use it when you need it. But say you don't need this random bloatware that's installed on your PC, you can always just go to add or remove and then find it in the add or remove tab. So where are you? We're getting rid of you. So there's that Max Audio Pro right there. We're just gonna go ahead and uninstall it. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the PC real quick just to make sure that it doesn't run on startup anymore and drag down our Cinebench score. So we're loaded back into Windows here. CPU usage is only 2%. I'm gonna go ahead and run Cinebench. So it scored nearly 1400, which I know from experience a Ryzen 7 1700 should be scoring. So it's running near perfectly. So there it is guys. That's how you quickly and easily identify a program or software that is slowing down your PC and you know disable or remove it. If this video helped you out, leave a like, get subscribed for more random PC help tips. Leave a comment on what random software was slowing down your PC. And like always, I'll see you next time.